Hi, welcome back to Sharon DIY Design. And today I want to ask you to go to the Amazon.com and purchase a copy of my children's book, Sabrina Aphis and Ellis by Eric Garden. It is a wonderful story told by a little girl in her black bird garden. And the pictures are illustrated so colorful and beautiful that any child will enjoy reading and exploring this book. So purchase a copy for a child and donate it to a preschool, uh, donate it to a, a child, family member, child in your family. Thank you and God bless. Today we're going to be making over these two lamps and lampshades that I got from Goodwill. The lamps was $2.99 a piece. And the lamp shades, I think they was like $2.99 a piece also, or $1.99 for each. $2.99 a piece. And we're going to take them and turn them into a chandelier lamps for your night stand. So what I did is take them outside and take all the covering off. Just rip it all off down to the bone Y and then we're gonna spray, clean them up, wash them up real good, let them dry and then you're gonna take them and spray paint them. You can spray paint them any color you like. I'm gonna spray paint them silver, chrome, and I'm gonna spray paint the lamp silver, chrome, in here. But I'm also gonna add some glitter paint to the base of the lamps. And once I get all that done, I'm gonna decorate them and turn them into chandelier lamps. I'm going to take the, the wires that came from the shade, lamp shade, and I'm going to take bling and I'm going to bling them out with some bling wraps. I'm just put that all over the wires and then I'm going to add crystal glass chandelier crystals. I'm going to put three from the top to the bottom and then I'm going to have three hanging from the center of the little three wires that I also blinged them out and they're going to have teardrops on them. And then I'm gonna take the flower looking bling wrap, put it around the edge of the bottom, and then put it around the edge of the top. And then I'm gonna take these little balls, crystal that I got from Amazon, and add one crystal chandelier crystal. And I'm add those at round the bottom, the very bottom of the lamp shade. And I'm gonna do this for both of the lamps. I'm not gonna talk through the video. I'ma just let you sit back and watch what I'm doing so that you can get a take on what I'm doing. And I make this video short. I had to delete out a lot of it because it was really long because it's time consuming making these lamps, chandelier lamps. It takes time to do them. So I had like an hour's worth of footage and I cut it back to 12 minutes and some. So just stay tuned and enjoy the DIY. I'm making some lampshades. These this lampshade is totally different from the other two that I did. They was different also. I just put a different spin on them. And I'm making this 
these lamps for my granddaughter. She has her new bedroom and got all her new furniture and she wanted some lamp shades and she wanted them to be chandelier lamp shades. So I went ahead and made her some lamps for her bedroom. And they came out beautiful and she loved them. And if you like my videos and you're learning anything from them, please subscribe and share them and hit the like button. I really will appreciate it because it does take a lot of time in making these videos and editing. There's one thing that I did down the, the little wires that I had burning wrap. I took some um, acrylic chandel um, chandelier and crystals and I put those down each line. So you see that clear because I wanted to have more of a bling and give it a little more full, full of a lamp because I'm not using any material with it. So um, I'm not going to talk any longer. I'm going to let you sit back and enjoy it. And I just want to say thank you. I love y'all. Wonderful peoples. Who have subscribed and support me i really appreciate it and i thank god for you you're just beautiful beautiful souls and thank you for your feedback it helps me to do better and wants to do more and have more and more coming so thank you and god bless and please remember to like and subscribe
I think they came out very beautiful. My granddaughter loves them. She's so excited about them and grateful that I made them for her. And if you like them, please like, share, and subscribe. And I love you. Until next time, my beautiful people. See you on the next video. Enjoy. Bye-bye.